your morning glass of orange juice, the refreshing bite of grapefruit in your salad, a cool, sweet, tart citrus dessert. These foods and others may be at risk, but we can all work together to help protect Texas crops from the invasive Mexican fruit fly. Join the U.S. Department of Agriculture's Animal and Plant Health Inspection Service, the Texas Department of Agriculture, and the Texas citrus industry to detect and eradicate fruit flies. The Mexican fruit fly is an invasive pest that affects over 50 host plants including citrus, guava, mango, avocado, and peach. Mexican fruit fly could devastate commercial agriculture in Texas, attacking high-value U.S. crops and making it more difficult and expensive to grow and buy fruits, nuts, and vegetables. The Mexican fruit fly does not cause human illness. If left unchecked, Mexican fruit fly in citrus production alone would cause U.S. farmers to lose $900 million each year. You can help stop the Mexican fruit fly if you, one, Cooperate with all fruit fly quarantine requirements. Never move fresh produce from your property when your area is under a fruit fly quarantine. If you must move fruits or vegetables from an infested area, make sure they are canned, baked, frozen, or preserved. Two, if you live in an infested area, double bag waste fruits and vegetables in plastic bags before throwing them away. Your municipal garbage company will handle the trash properly to kill any possible flies or maggots. 3. Allow authorized agricultural workers access to your property to inspect fruit and to place and check traps for signs of infestation. 4. Don't compost any fruit or vegetable material from the quarantine area. Compost piles can allow fruit fly eggs and larvae to develop, continuing their life cycle. 5. Do not bring or mail fruits, vegetables, or plants to the U.S. mainland unless agricultural inspectors have cleared them beforehand. Invasive fruit flies and other pests can travel on produce. Know what the Mexican fruit fly looks like so you can report any sightings. It is slightly larger than a common house fly, has green eyes, transparent wings with distinctive V marks, and a yellowish brown body with black specks. The female fly lays her eggs in ripening fruit on the tree. After the eggs hatch into worms, they feed on the fruity pulp, making it inedible for human consumption. The larval worms fall to the ground where they transform into adult flies. The flies mate and the cycle begins again. USDA and its partners have worked together since 1985 to control and eradicate Mexican fruit fly in the U.S. when it appears, including surveying, trapping, treatment, sterile insect release, and outreach. Our goal is to interrupt the cycle to protect our crops. Visit these websites to find more information about invasive fruit flies online. For questions on USDA's ongoing fruit fly work, or you think you may have an invasive pest on your property, please report it at www.saveourcitrus.org or call the Texas Department of Agriculture at 800-835-5832.